That, of course, is the legendary Supremes. Now one of the original members has returned home here to Detroit. We're talking about Mary Wilson. This weekend she's here in downtown Detroit performing with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Our Paula Tutman spent the day with her talking about the past and the future. Hey guys, obviously the Tigers aren't the only game in town. It is before 10.30, and you can see the lobby of the DSO is very, very crowded. Packed, in fact, and for a very good reason. Homegirl made good, okay, because I'm here with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. No one is more excited to perform with Mary Wilson and the Detroit Symphony Orchestra than Mary Wilson. A quick weekend stint that started with a morning concert, and at 72 years young, she is still serving up voice, style, and glamour. And even though I'm satisfied, it's so many memories. Da -da -da -da. And, oh, that's the Martha and the Vandella song, okay. Stop in the name of love. She took an early morning walk with us at the old Rooster Project site before her concert this morning. We went to school over there at Bishop Elementary, where Flo and I really first met. So someone said, we're going to ask that girl, Diane, who lives across the street from you, to join the group. And that's how the Supremes were started. We started singing here uh, in the Brewster Projects. We actually rehearsed here uh, when we were the Prime Mets. She is also excited about the new Detroit that is sprouting up everywhere. What street are we on? Woodward. Well, this is Woodward. Yeah. So you they've, torn, they've right? turned everything down. But she's concerned about retaining the history of this great city, particularly when it comes to keeping sacred those places in which the architects of the Motown sound originated. Look at all the people who came out of here. I mean, boxers and singers and all the musicians came out of this, this place right here. I want to be a part of some of the growth. I was thinking that a, a performing arts center would be so great if all the Motown acts could get together with someone and, and help to help that make that happen. That would be so wonderful. You know, you have not really experienced the full Motown sound until you have experienced it the way the DSO interprets it. It is that good. It gave me goosebumps. And yes, there's still tickets available. Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon. Paula Tutman, Local 4.